everybody, Sean Mulburn here with the Milburn Motorsports Channel once again today. This is going to be practice part two at Fontana Raceway. Uh, this was a really good weekend. Day two had a lot of really good driving for practice going on, so I wanted to show you some of that footage. Uh, be ashamed to not show it off, so here we are. This is the cars lining up to go out onto the track for the first practice session of the day. So we're going to go ahead and jump on board with Daniel Milburn once again. He's uh, going to be refining his ability to drive around this track in preparation for the race that's later on in this day. Let's get into it. All right, so we're on board with Daniel Milburn. He started at the back of the pack here. Michael McColgan next to him. This is the, just got done with the out lap, skip the warm up lap, so we can get right into the action. On the oval, he's the last car in line, so he has the opportunity to kind of run up on some of these guys up here, if they're kind of taking it a bit more easy. You see Brad Austin went ahead and went by underneath. Brad always, always tries to get the most out of his practice sessions, trying to uh, work on getting his race pace fixed as early as he can so you know 8 eight fifty in the morning out there full send in the car love to see it seems like everybody's taking it pretty easy we are back on the practice tires uh, so we, we swap back from the slicks to the R triple R's in the front, NTO ones in the back. Setup works pretty decently. Let's see Ken Kurtz in front of Danny currently. This is Ken's first time driving this track. He actually flew in on the second day to drive the car on Sunday. So whereas Mark was driving yesterday, he's driving today. Next things we're going to be working on for the RSX is likely the setup adjustment in the uh, like calibrating the caster, camber, toe. We're going to refine that a bit more because. This thing does need to turn better. It uh, It is a little bit too stiff in the back in terms of it doesn't rotate enough. So we're going to try and figure out a way to loosen it up a bit so that that way when you go to off throttle oversteer it, it'll actually cooperate. Um, because currently the way you drive this car is by using the differential to turn the car, basically. So we have to be slightly on throttle to get the thing to rotate. And then anything other than that, the car doesn't really like to turn a whole lot. Off the oval, into this braking zone, Ken goes super wide. Again, it's his first time trying that braking zone at speed. Plenty of run out there, so he dove it super deep, got on those brakes, couldn't get it done. But he's fine. It's a spot you can blow it and be fine. Nice corner by Danny. That's a pretty, uh, pretty nice corner there. This track is, whoa, something in the camera there. This track is pretty nice. Uh, it, it is kind of old and bumpy. You can see just how bumpy it is. He tries to go deep, a little deeper on that corner there to try and hook around it. Uh, try and get a super late apex on the back side of that inside, but uh, didn't end up working very well pushed out kind of wide it happens so he gets to try again next lap it's the great thing about practice is you can go out here and make mistakes and you can just learn from them over and over again it's, okay let me try a different line let me see how the car likes it um, let me see if I need a little if I can get a little less break into some of these corners see if I can break later um, see how the car responds to it if you know you end up going off the end of the corner not the end of the world. We're coming up on the end of the practice session. It was a pretty good one. You see Danny was trying different things to refine it, but we're going to go ahead and get to the next one. Go. 
So after that practice session, I stuck around for a little bit to see what kind of cars would come out. Because it was the HPDE group was next, the expert group. There were so many awesome cars. There were Vipers, C7s, C8s, so many Porsche GT3s, like at least, at least 10 of them. It was so awesome. So I stuck around with it. So that you guys can all see this. I'm just going to let you listen. Alright Danny, how'd that practice feel? Wow, put on the spot. Um, it uh, felt pretty good. I picked up some time on our practice tires, so that was really good. I think I picked up about three seconds. So hopefully I can pick up uh, another two on the slicks. But you know, we'll see. I'm gonna go out there, give it my all, and uh, hopefully we can make this work. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it looks like tough competition. Everybody's within like half of a second to a second of each other, so. No, but uh, you know, we're, yeah, having a front-wheel drive car, especially in this track, is going to be kind of tough. You know, in the infield, it's super tight and whatnot. But I'm hoping that we can make do on the actual oval itself. I'm really going to have to push the car. But you know. have you seen a power advantage with the car as you're drag racing down? sections actually surprising well i haven't really been pushing the car down uh the oval yet just simply because you know i would get yelled at if i did but well uh, i'm talking about the infield on the on the straights well, i mean infield and the oval they both they're both very uh they're both very horsepower you know uh strong so this thing actually um has a higher top speed and outran me on the uh oval itself but uh in the infield i think i'm gonna have an advantage uh i mean <laughs> uh, but we will, you know, we'll, we'll see. I got one more practice session in and then we'll, uh, we'll yeah, we'll go from there.
there's been a really unfortunate turn. Um, Rez's car caught on fire. So he's gonna be out. That car is probably done. They said it was burning for like 30 seconds. We'll see when it comes in what it looks like. Uh, apparently the fire crew got there pretty fast and he got out of the car pretty fast. Um, it wasn't the front that burned, it was the rear. So maybe the engine and trans are salvageable. Uh, maybe the burns aren't too bad. Hopefully it was just body paneling and stuff like that. Didn't get into any of the electronics or the hoses, but I doubt it. Um, you know, that's, just, that's just one of the unfortunate parts of, of racing is this kind of shit can happen. Um, so you just it's good to run drills, be prepared for it when it does, know how to get out of the car quickly so that you're not stuck in it if it does happen. Um, but everybody's safe, everybody's okay. Hopefully the car is at least somewhat salvageable. Um, and I, he'll probably be out of the race in a couple hours here. Sure. Where did it catch fire? On the tank? Your muffler I'm I'm dragging the ground and it caught the bumper on fire and it melted the back of the guy. Well, you go. Yes, sir. The yeah. muffler doesn't come back here though. Your you're muffler stops there. in the middle. Uh, you're looking like a rocket ship for a while. You're yeah. shooting out yeah. like 10 to 5 or 4 feet out. Uh, the muffler stops here. The gas tank is dragging on the ground. It wore a hole in it. Yeah. And the fuel was coming out catching fire. fire wasn't anywhere near me. I was fine. Damn. That was yeah. something else, huh? I, I was moving out there. I was, I was looking at my lap times, and I was like, I'm going fast. This is great. And I started to smell a little bit of burning. I was like, oh, okay, I'm on the brakes too much. <laughs> a little too much brake. Yeah, because yeah. I was locking the front axle. So I was thinking, okay, like I'm locking up the brakes and the tires. And then they came running after me with the red flag. And yeah, yeah. Like, so they were like, Stop. yeah, the truck was coming like perpendicular to me. And I'm like, I, that's not good. Wow. Yeah. I've been racing eight years, the first fire I've seen. Yeah. It just doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Very rare. When I saw a red flag, I'm like, red flag? That's 
you hardly ever see a red flag. It doesn't look too bad. Thank you. So we're just in the final stages now, prepping for the race. Uh, Rez is actually trying to get his car back up and running before the race happens. So he's got about an hour to do so. I hope he can make it work. It'd be cool to have him in the race, um, especially since, you know, getting a car that has caught on fire to then run in a race an hour later is uh, a very significant feat. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Danny's gonna hop in the car kind of thing. Here we got the, uh, the NKs back on, slicks are on, so. Everything's sorted out. We're just resting up, getting prepared. This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, seeing all the practice and qualifying, I know I didn't get to drive this time, but Danny is a confident driver, so I hope you enjoy the way he drives. Maybe I'll try and get him to do a voiceover on his own race. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a comment if there's anything you want to see that I can do. I'm always open to suggestions on these videos if there's anything specific that uh, anybody out there wants to see. So until then, I'll see you in the next race video. Have a great day.